What's up, Mountain Dew 5150 fans? It is Nick here. And Zach here, coming to you for the newest edition of Opinion Corner in this new schedule of ours. Now, before we get into this video, this is a disclaimer. We've talked about some pretty serious issues on but this not channel. not as serious as this. We've talked about some serious things in this series, but not as serious as this. This is a serious question, guys. And today... Nick and I are going to be unafraid, afraid no more of holding back and really driving into the truth, and driving into the topic that no one wants to discuss about. And that is, that is our round or square table better. And this is one of the, maybe the first topic that me and Zach just completely disagree on. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to start it off and I'm going to say round tables are by far better than square tables. And when I say square, I'm not talking about a literal square, I'm meaning like a rectangle or any geometric shape that has corners. And the main thing that really gets to me is that, say you're at a family function, right? Many people, say there's like 37 and a half, 37 and a third, I'll, I'll just round it down, 37. And you, you're at a rectangle table. You know, there's people sitting at the ends, like, so there's like maybe one or two people at the ends, and the long part, you have like the other 15, 16, whatever. So, when you're sitting there, say you're in the direct middle, you can only talk to so many people. You can't hear what everyone is saying. If you want to talk to someone on your side, you have to crane your neck, you have to shout over people, and you're really confined to like the same six or seven people you can talk to, which is a real problem, because say you're here, and someone you really want to talk to is at the other corner, then that way you 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 can't you're subjected to not be able to talk to them and think about it if there's a nice crisp bowl of mashed potatoes on the other side you're there on this side and you need it you just need it but you can't reach because it's a long rectangle table you have to call like five different people to pass you the potatoes you get it and then you have to pass it back whereas if you sit at a round table those same mashed potatoes can be in the center of that round table. And you can talk to the other 36 people because you're all at a similar angle to each other. Everyone can see everyone's face. And I don't think Zach really has anything to say here because he knows I'm right and he knows he's wrong. Well, there were some very valid points made in there, but I don't think my blood has ever boiled to this degree. <laughs> Wow! Look, if this, Do I have a lot to say? If this to you? is too serious, we can stop the uh, video. I know, I know. It's about to. I mean, it's about to get very. This is one of those really here. controversial okay. topics. Okay. So, my opponent, my opponent, and I will call him my opponent because he has obviously made himself an opponent of mine with his opinions, facts, opinions. My opponent here says that round tables are not good are much much better for big functionalities but do you want to know why yeah, round do you want to know work. why that you wrecked you kept talking about the rectangle tables when it came to you know big groups because no a circle table is only good for small groups that's untrue that is so true that's untrue 37 and a half people do you <laughs> think they're fitting in a big circle in a room they have rectangles oval. for a reason oval space Space, oval, fine, valid, but you know what, not as good. Space, it's more comfortable. There's just room. You can like sit there. It's not, and what it's if not you're sitting in the direct corner? It's not curving the against your arm, into you know? Your... It's not curving. Uh, I, yeah. And see, the thing is, with t uh, you know, with the rectangles, the seats fit in perfectly. Everyone's, it's uh, nice and orderly. It feels nice. Everything can fit on there. Plus, it takes up less space but can fit more it can fit these big grooves but have a lot of well, things on them you can sit very comfortably and orderly and the, the, it's not curving against your arm you know it's straight it's well, nice and straight I've, against your arm what about horseshoe tables because they technically fit in round tables because they're not geometric and they're by far better than your stupid square tables because they don't have corners it's like two ovals conjoined it's like a very curved hot dog you see say you're sitting at a table with corners and you are the unfortunate person who got there last and there's no room and you have to sit at a corner like this and you constantly have to lean over and the corner is going piercing a hole into your like abdomen here 
and you're dying, you're bleeding out, your guts are spilling out because this freaking corner is going into your abdomen and the chair doesn't fit there and don't say that chairs don't fit in a round table because they do and you know it and you know that it's so much easier and less complicated to just talk to people and here's another thing have you ever seen big meetings like the UN or all these government meetings where they have yes. really big round tables mm -hmm. and you can just see everybody yes you do you know why the it's the knights of the round table not the knights of the square table because the idea that King Arthur had was, hey, I can see everybody if it's a round table. Whereas if it was a square table, there's always going to be people you can't see. Like, I can't see why you even think that this is an argument, because I'm right. Well, you know I'm right. So, there were a few points that I really All to points were here. correct. All points. So, this speech started with the um, notion of a horseshoe table. And let me tell you, Nick... Besides the Grinch, Cindy Lou Who, and all of Whoville, have you ever seen a self-respecting family sit around a horseshoe Wait, did or they actually use one? I think it was some sort of weird curve, and I respect them. I do, but that unfortunately we are not them. Second of all, you bring up this point. I am now start. Oh, you bring up the point that um of the you know the the corner yeah, jutting yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, Is that I do. the round table's fault, or is that the people sitting? At the table. The round fault. table doesn't have corners. Is that the re rectangle table's fault? You don't even know what side you're on. No, I do know what side I'm on. It's because you circle table people are sticking us poor round, uh, rectangle people at the corners to try and you know coerce us into thinking differently. Secondly, when you ever sit at a circle table and it's like, oh man, we need five people here. You're like, Oh shoot, how do we space this out the right way? Do you ever notice that circle tables are trying to like have the seats organized in a way that's spaced evenly? You know, sort of like <coughs> a rectangle table it's, already does. It, it's literally like five points on a circle. You just... Mm -hmm. No, but you know what? People are like, no, I want to sit here. No, I want to sit... Zach, just because you part, failed out of no. geometry class doesn't mean you can absolutely say these kinds not, of things. Absolutely not. Absolutely Do you know that not. you can fit points on the Absol perimeter? A, see, you are assuming that people act the right way. By the way, he didn't actually fail. Don't don't believe that. Maybe I did. Well, no. <laughs> anyway, and to your uh, last point that you said, oh, all these important groups sit at the round tables because the rooms are big. If you don't have a big room... How can you possibly fit a r big round table in there? Because the rectangle is better. It's like we we don't have the biggest kitchen, and our round table fits in the kitchen just fine. But it can't fit thirty-seven and a half people. We're not having. It's it's all up to the occasion. You're you're taking this out of context because you're blaming the size of the table, and you're. It's a correlation. You're not gonna have our kitchen table for thirty-seven and a half people because that would never happen. I'm talk. You're you're saying, you're you're. I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but he's saying things. It's like when you're in the court of law and you say a fact that's like wrong and or something and the judge is like, hey, not relevant. It, it's like that. It, it's not relevant. Just like your argument. So, you know what, guys? We're, we're both heated. Zach, do you have any final points you want to make before we sign off? Any table that does not have corners is not a table. Okay, yeah, well, that, that's wrong. Okay, well... We want to hear your opinions, of course, and, you know, if you're a round table guy, that means you're smart. If you're a rectangle, rectangle table guy or, or gal or whatever you are, then, you know, I, I respect your opinion, but not you. So, so if, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed it's this, um, table or you. if you enjoyed this healthy debate, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. We're keeping up with our new schedule, so you're going to see an opinion corner every two weeks. And we're, we're, we have some very spicy ideas for those coming up. So please stay tuned. Thank you for putting up with this argument. Yes. Thank you. Have a great. I'm feeling glad I got sunshine in a bag. I'm useless. Not for long. The future is coming.